Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Fukatsu and the time has finally come for the Cosmic Client 2.0 public beta release. Yes, it is true. You can go down in the description right now and click the link. It's going to bring you to this page and you can download the Cosmic Client right now for free. You don't have to pay or anything. Completely free. Now, do be warned, it is going to have some bugs and um, we're just going to go here. I already have it downloaded, but when you do download the... Um, thing you're gonna get a file right here that says launcher 1.8.9 you're gonna want to make a file on your desktop a little folder and then drag the launcher.1.8.9 into here and then double click that it's gonna start installing all the files you see here it's gonna take a while so do not worry and very important if you want to increase the amount of allocated RAM to the launcher and to the game you're gonna want to open the launcher dash settings notepad document and change the RAM MB. I have not done that yet but if I did do that I would get a lot more FPS so I would recommend changing this to like 4000 that's 4 gigabytes roughly um, and then re relaunch your thing. I'm actually going to do that right now so I get the most FPS so you guys can see that it does work and that you will get like at least 100 more FPS by using this and um, I'll be right back after I relaunch this Alrighty guys, we are back and we are now in full screen and just look at this guys. This is super crazy. We've got this super awesome looking, you know, home screen. This is Minecraft by the way. And the home screen looks this cool, so the client's gonna be super great. Um there is a custom music thing playing in the background that you can change by this little volume wheel thing slider up here. There's also a button up here that will close the client. You have updates for the two servers that they have, the Cosmic PvP and the Cosmic Prisons. Down here, this will take you to the forums for Cosmic PvP and Cosmic Prism, Prisms, Prisms, Prisons, and then this right here will take you to the shop of both of those. You do have an in-game account switcher. As you can see, I have my two accounts right here, Fukasu and Atlas. I'm on Atlas right now because this is a 1.8 client, so it's going to be great to use on Hypixel if it does get approved by admins and stuff. So, like I said, use at your own risk. I am going to go on Hypixel for this video to show you some of the stuff. Um, it does have Optifine, so don't worry about that. You're going to get a super great FPS. You can use your own texture packs and all of that. Um, we're just going to go into a single player world right now, though, to show you guys all the different settings you can have and all of that. So we are now in game, and um, I've actually already customized my mods a little bit, and... Um, it looks pretty cool. So when you get into the game, yours isn't going to look like mine. You're going to have something in the top left and then a little events thing on the right screen. But in order to customize your mods to your likings, you're going to want to press right shift by default. And it's going to bring up this GUI. Cosmic Client 2.0, Cosmic Client it looks super nice. So much better than the old version of the client that I reviewed on my channel a long time ago. Um, but first off, you've got all these different tabs. You've got accounts, waypoints, settings, server store, forums, and then the cosmic client. So take you to the website and then the change log. Um, that's going to open up a page. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Um, let's get back to Minecraft. So right back here, going to accounts, you have this. You can add new accounts just by doing this, putting your username. It is safe. Don't worry about that. I know some you know, hack clients they actually steal accounts by doing that, but this can be trusted. So you do have your account switcher thing here. You can switch to your other accounts. You can have, I don't know if there's a limit. Maybe, I think there's maybe like 10 you can have here. I don't know. That's more than enough. Waypoints right here. We're going to delete this waypoint just so you can see what it is. When you're in game, what you want to do is you want to press B and then you have this super nice clean looking waypoint system. You can name it whatever you want. We're just going to name it, name it test. You can type in the individual coordinates if you want to. And this is the coolest part right here. You can make your waypoint any color and that is the same for pretty much every single one of the modules in this client. That's why this is a super awesome, super great client. Um, real quick, I'm not sponsored by them. I didn't even get beta test for this um, this is the public beta but they did whitelist a few people I didn't even get that so I'm not being paid to say anything any of these things but I've just been super excited about this and um, right here you have the whole color slider thing you have opacity and all that just like cheat breaker 
Um, I'm going to be making some comparisons to Cheat Breaker. This is better than Cheat Breaker, obviously, because it's released. Um, if Cheat Breaker was actually released, that might be a different story, but um, right now, you know, it's not released. But you can change it any color. You have a few default colors here if you just don't want to pick. And you also have a rainbow option. Yes, you can have rainbow waypoints. Super awesome. Um, I believe there is a way to disable the beacon, so do not worry about that. Um, you should be able to do that, but getting on to the rest of the features in the settings, you have all your mods, and you have them separated into different categories, or just looking at all of them. Not going to be going over every single one of these, because there's just too many here to go over, and most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, the information HUD, you have all these options to display, you know, ping, time, combat tag, CPS, FPS, your toggle sneak status, as you can see if I put that up there, and you can disable the prefix, um, all that stuff, you can change the color of your toggle sneak, um, actually I don't think you can do that, never mind, um, I, you should be able to change that, yeah, if you press, if you go to value, you can change the color of your toggle sneak to whatever you want, so I'll just put it as this ugly green just to test it off. And you just have all these options. Um, but moving on to the next one, Tabby Chat. Um, for me, this is kind of broken at the moment, I think. Um, maybe if I go on another server, we'll go on Hypixel right here for just a second. Um, yeah, the chat's not really working. Um, I mean, it is working, but it's kind of glitchy, I think. Um, like, I can't even really move it around any. But, um there's the chat something really cool with the chat though that you can do is you can use custom fonts so you can change the font color and I believe this uses all the fonts on your computer yeah as you see I have my deter my determination sans web font and I can change that to the um, you know text in chat so you, this is very cool super customizable you can make your chat look weird like this cool looking font and it's just super cool that you're able to do that as you can see, um, some of the colors and stuff can get a little, you know, odd looking. We'll just put that there. Um, yeah, this is kind of buggy. Once again, it's a public beta, so don't don't expect it to be perfect or anything. Um, we're just going to go back onto the single player world, though, just for a little bit to finish showing you guys the settings and all that. Um, coolest thing here, keystrokes, as you can see. You can change everything just like in Cheat Break. You can change the background color, you can change the text color, the key up color. I have mine set to rainbow right now, which is super cool. So, um, all your mods you can be set to rainbow, so that's super awesome. I can disable that and that, or just have this. Um, I will say the shape of the keystrokes is a little odd. I think they should make it look more like Cheat Breakers or Can Alexis keystrokes, if you guys know that mod. Um, I think they should make it look more like that because this just looks a little odd in my opinion. But I'm moving on. Everything else here is pretty self-explanatory. You do have the scoreboard. You can change the scale and you can turn it on and off. Going back to this, you have custom crosshairs. Once again, just like Cheat Breaker. I think Cheat Breakers is a little bit better because this one, it doesn't really let me you know, customize too many options. Um, as you can see, you can change the color and the length and stuff, but I just think Cheat Breaker does it a little bit better. Um, but obviously that's not released, so you can just use this for now um, until that does release, and then use this for 1.8 because I don't think Cheat Breaker, Cheat Breaker is probably not even ever going to release, so that doesn't matter. You have this thing called Dynamic Crosshairs, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know if it works a little bow. No, it just makes it where when you click it moves. I don't know what the point of that is, but I mean, I guess that's cool. Um, I'm just going to change it off and change it to a white crosshair because I just think that looks a little bit better, and let's just go customize it a little bit more. Um, we're not gonna have the dot actually We can make the dot super small and then change the length of that and then boom we got a cool looking crosshair right here um, moving on Tools you got schematica if you don't know how to use these don't worry about it You've got a world downloader um, and the mechanics toggle sneak and toggle sprint they're separated So you know toggle sneak is you know this whole thing um, it does have it where if you open your inventory you stay sneaky sneaking I don't think that's allowed on some servers, so be careful with that. Um, I just keep that disabled to be safe. You have potion colors, which I think will change the color of your um, potion effects on the side. Um, I guess not. Maybe it just has to do with the potions in general, like these. I'm not sure what that does, but um, going back to this, oh, I just really messed up. Um, 
you have this world border which I don't know if that works on every server but that's pretty much it for that if you want to move your um, mods around you're gonna have to go to move um, this little button right here move item mods and you can move it wherever you want so if you want your you know keystrokes down here um, I just keep mine in the top left and you can move all your stuff anywhere and it will automatically you know align and snap to places that you want um, you can also have different profiles here um, I don't have any to show you but you can make any if you want you just create a new profile give it a name and then you can switch between the two profiles so that's pretty cool um, going back to here this tab right here general very important um, you can replace the minecraft button with font um, you can change that and you can see it'll just bring back these old buttons and if I go back to that and put that on it just puts these new looking buttons um, I keep that off or I'm gonna keep that off just because I don't really like that um, this show factions focus player is just a cosmic PvP server only thing so I'm not gonna get into that um, if you click advanced settings I'm not sure what that does um, yeah I'm not sure what advanced settings does um, so I, I'll just leave it off for now you have shiny pots disable this for more FPS as you see um, this will not you won't be able to tell if like swords are enchanted so I'd recommend leaving it on and then for waypoints you can change the beam and the label and the distance um, I probably turn the beam off just because it's kind of annoying that big beam um, and I keep the name and the distance on but the background still is whatever color you set it to as you see that one's rainbow if I go really far away um, that number is just gonna keep getting bigger and as you see still rainbow and all that so that's super cool going back here um, you can go to HUD and change the scale of your entire HUD make it super a um, lot bigger and all that stuff I'm just gonna keep it default one and then this tab right here performance this is gonna be how you're gonna get the extra FPS you can disable the chat background and all that um, smart performance handling you're definitely gonna wanna have this turned on that's what's gonna get you the extra FPS gamma you're gonna want to keep that on and just keep all these default um, don't really mess with them because um, it's gonna be a little bit rough a little bit bad looking um I'm not sure what disable fire effect is I think it just disables it for you I'm not sure let me get a uh, what's a mob that doesn't burn uh, let's just grab a creeper let's test this out um, yeah, I would turn this on actually because it's going to be better for PvP. See if I turn this on, um, as you can see the mobs are going to like actually catch on fire. So you're going to be able to know when your opponent's on fire. So definitely keep that on, at least if you're using PvP. And then just leave these default. And um, that's pretty much it. It does have an, a ton of extra features. All these other mods, as you can see, have all these and customize them however you like. Um, I just wanted to go over a few of the main ones just so you will know how it works. Um, I can go to right here, Armor Hood, and show you this, I guess. As you see, you can have the label on, as you see down there, if you want. I just keep that off. And um, a few things you should know. Some of the animations don't really work. You can block it, but as you can see, the rod is still that broken, like, zoomed in, you know, thing. And then with the bow, you can't do the, like, left click thing as you see I'm pressing both of my keys and it's not doing the thing I don't know if you know what I'm talking about but um, some of you definitely will know what I'm talking about um, the little punch bow thing I do it in my pack videos whenever I'm using the bow but um, we're gonna go on high pixel and do a very quick duel for you guys because I don't want this video to be too long um, I just lagged a little bit I think it was because of the font maybe um, but we're just gonna go do a quick UHC duel so you guys can see the client um, let me go and turn my FOV up and um, so yeah overall at the moment um, the clients pretty great it's probably the best thing that you can use for 1.8 PvP um, I'd still probably use regular forge for 1.7 um, just because you know no matter what they people say the 1.8 you know clients that say it's like 1.7 PvP it usually isn't but these clients are absolutely great for 1.8 PvP. Um, just remember, I am a pretty bad PvPer, so don't judge the PvP based on this. And this client still is in uh, public beta, so it's not even the full release. 
so just keep that in mind. I'm trying to sweat really hard so I can get this win so people don't think I'm really bad at PvP. He's gonna kill me. Oh, we got him, but um... What did that guy say? He said, LL, okay. Uh, I do not want to queue again. But um, yeah, the client's still in beta. Um, hopefully they will um, improve the keystrokes because I just really dislike the way it looks. It's a little fat and blocky, I guess. Um, this looks a little odd. And um, But overall, this is, like I said, probably... Uh, it actually is the best like PvP mod pack client. It isn't a hack client, by the way. I know when people see PvP client, they're going to be like, oh, is it a hack client? It's not a hack client. But, um, yeah, this is probably the best PvP client for 1.8. Um, uh, like I said, if you can get past those few little bugs that you may experience, the animations that aren't quite correct and all that, um, I'm probably still going to use Forge. But, you know, I may use this every once in a while because I just like my Forge mods more. Um, I like the Canelex keystrokes, which is what I've been using and all that. And also, I don't like this, you know, whenever I sprint jump, it changes. Like, actually, whenever I jump, anytime it changes, um, the toggle sneak up here. So, um, yeah, if you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe for more content in the near future. I mainly review texture packs, but every once in a while, I'll make a video like this if something interests me. So, um, yeah, I will see you all later, and bye-bye.